Is yeah. it possible to juggle whilst sitting down? Um, I don't think yeah. anything's possible. But just the microphone might be the problem. The bird's like getting out of there. There you go. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I'm a white sail. A white sail? Mm hmm. Have we talked about this before? I don't know. Have we? No, we talked about Black Friday, but then there was something else. Oh, I remember that. Called... No, you're thinking of that Asian thing that was yeah, like white. Yeah, white day. For like Valentine's Day or something. Yeah. I'm a white sail. I think okay. I think it has to do with like sheets and pillowcases and maybe towels. I think you have it in January and it's like, you know how they have like appliance sales? Yeah. This is, I believe, is like. Betting. Betting. I'm a white lie. A white lie. This here is Frank, and he is wearing his summer attire. It is hot, 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 hot. It is. You see over in England? England? Yeah, I know. You brought it up yesterday, and then I had to look it up. Okay. It's really bad. Is it? Yeah. (sighs) Is it getting better, though? Uh, Nothing less. Is it getting better, though? (laughs) Well, if you talk about the UK, I all of a sudden take my UK roots, and I... it, well, I mean, nothing lasts forever. So, is it almost, almost is it going to break? No, it's never going to break. It's just forever. This, this is, is it. our forever. We're now in the frying pan of the universe. Yeah. Well, the problem is, it was, it's not like people are complaining. It's like there's fires breaking out and stuff, all in South London. Why wouldn't they complain? No, because like I feel like when it's like, oh, they're going through it over oh, there. Oh, just like, just oh, like, they're not used to hot weather. Oh me, oh my, this weather is awfully yeah. hot. Yeah. No, it's like. My farm burned down. Well, this is what I was thinking about it. Um, different places are used to weathers. So the Middle East is used to extremely hot weather. Yeah. And the what, Alaska, northern Alaska must be used to extremely cold weather. So this so the stuff they have, like their airport is made the ground is to, made to withstand. Yes. You know, and in the Middle East, you know, their wheels do not fall apart. Over in California, for example, the buildings are designed for earthquakes. For earthquakes. If that happened made in Philadelphia, we would lose a lot more buildings than if it happens in San Francisco. Correct. And then you can't like if you never have earthquakes, it doesn't it's not financially mm-hmm. you know, a good idea to make earthquake buildings. So I'm guessing a place like London who doesn't see hot weather, a lot of their stuff will not work correctly yeah. at that temperature. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's the thing. And we are very adaptable people. And it's like, it's 104 degrees. Uh, Arizona has been like that right. for the whole summer. Right. I, I think it's more of just an eye-opening thing of, ooh, this is not supposed to be happening. R- yes. And if it were to be the new regular, then you would change. You would, yeah. you know, you'd have a lot more air but conditioning. I, but yeah, stuff. I think that's, that's about it's it. Unusual. It's unusual. It's like so long now. It's like, right. oh, this is what we're doing now. It's like, right. well, no, this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. We must stop it. Stop it. Stop the hairspray. Remember that? Remember yeah. when they were blaming all global warming on hairspray? I do remember that. Man, oh, man. So, yeah, Frank, he's staying out of the heat. He's got the old hat covering the radiation rays. He's got his uh, guns out. Um, What's left of them? (laughs) Nubs out. Oh, my gosh. It's National Junk Food Day. Oh, wait. It's it's Thursday. It's July 21st. You know what I mean? Is it? It's National Junk Food Day. What's your favorite junk food? I feel like... Hear me out. I feel like junk food is kind of derogatory. Of course it is. Yeah. It's like... Of course it is. Who... What gives you the right to call it junk food? It's just... It's food. Well, I, I when when I, when I see a, a person drinking a beer or a, a soda, I'm like, I don't say, well, "What do you what are you sipping on that junk junk drink for?" Yeah, well, I guess I, it would be a drunk drink. <laughs> I think junk food. Um, people use it too too broad, but I think that true junk food would be having no nutritional value. So, like, you're putting garbage in your body because we eat. Even though we want to eat for delicious taste and fun and comfort and everything like that, yeah, you don't want it to have some of the, some of the junk food. Not only has no nutritional value, it's actually bad for you. So like, yeah. there's some candies which I adore. Like what? Um, chewy sweet tarts. <laughs> I think it's all chemicals. Yeah. Like I don't think there's anything in there except. No, it's not real sugar. Probably. I think it's plastic. It's very soft, yeah. sweet plastic. 
So, you know what I mean? Yeah, that would be a junk food. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I go and get a McDonald's order, and it's like all of a sudden I'm eating junk food. I know it's not good food. Yeah. But junk food? Junk? You know what junk means? Yeah, that's really mean. What's the definition of junk? Well, like a junkyard is full trash of... Trash food? Yeah. Waste? Yeah. I don't know. But, but, the, but, 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 but... The, it's so broad so like some people have cheat days and they want like junk food so it's like oh i'm gonna have i'm gonna have popcorn and i'm gonna have a, a soda pop and so that's their junk food but like but why are we putting it down like that why can't we just say i'm gonna have some less nutritional food you know you're correct because some uh, they nutritionally have proven, deficient food they have proven that food that is um off limits is becomes more desirable and you binge it more you know what so you call if it? you would de if you would demystify it and just say you can have it you know what we should call it? Well, no, I'm not saying that everyone should eat junk food all the time. I'm saying I just don't you're like... You're just like bobbing and weaving right now. I don't know where you're coming from. <laughs> I am simply talking about calling it junk food. Yeah. Like, why does it have to be such a negative thing? Why can't it be fun food? And it's like, yeah, you can't have too much fun food. It's not good for you. No, you're right. It's it's from that judgmental era. It's like judgmental Like calling era. someone a couch potato. Yeah. Like you can't just That's sit on the... the potatoes. You can't sit on the... T- potatoes work very hard. <laughs> no, it's hard. mean to people who sit down for a minute on the couch. Yeah. Oh, you're a couch potato. And it's like, no, I'm someone who's taking a rest. Yeah. Like, no. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, I'm not at all arguing for junk food yeah. to be normalized. Right. I am arguing for why do we got to make it so negative? Like, that's why you know, people have these like negative connotations of diets. Because it's like, well, of course. You know, you're eating junk food. And it's like, it's fun food. You know what? We should gather. Well, On ha- National Junk Food Day today, we are officially changing the name to fun food. Don't eat too much of it, but sure is fun when you're yeah. doing it. Um, we should gather. So it has to be a future podcast. Gather words, you know, that have we don't even realize that it has a negative, a negative. Um, for like you know, like what do they call these? Like um, like hoochie shorts or something like this. You know, yeah. It's like oh, so if you wear these shorts, you know, you're slutty, and it's like no, you can wear them and not be slutty. So tramp stamp. Yeah, lower back art is what I call it. Spencer. Yeah. Um, do you know? Uh, do you know what I found out? I found out the top hated um sports athletes in a, in in America. I'm gonna say because I don't see any foreigners on this list. Really, the top hated sports athletes. They did a list, and it, I believe it came out today. Uh, is number one Tom Brady? Um, this is it came out July 18th. Number one Tom Brady. I think I saw Tom Brady on here, but where is he? Uh, it, unfortunately, the list isn't nice and clean. It's like you got to scroll so much. Well, it's kind of confusing because right, like like. Is it strictly they only get hate? Because, like, Tom Brady, I would say, is also one of the most loved athletes. Right. But it's, like, because of that, he's one of the most hated. Tom Brady's number 13. Okay. Okay, so to give you an idea of, what, I guess, what they're doing. So, number nine is Lance Armstrong. And you're saying why? And so Because he used steroids. So, it says Lance Armstrong, um, hit, uh, doping and cheating was exposed and yeah. his actions came to, to, uh, to light. And so, it puts him at the top of the list. Okay. I think he also had like a relationship scandal with Cheryl. Crow. So it needs to be something bad. It's not just like it's not just I don't like. So even him. for Tom Brady, if you read it, it'll probably bring up his cheating scandals and not right just the fact that people hate to see him succeed. Weirdly, they only start giving you words for the top ten. So okay. for Tom Brady, I don't have words. Okay, I, I'm starting to to see what we're doing here. Uh, is LeBron James up there? He's number one. Okay. How did you know? I didn't. I thought he was a nice family man. He is, but once again, it's like. I, yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'm curious to see what his says. Okay, it says is um, it for leaving Go to Miami? Well, it it's it it actually says <clears throat> sorry, his success is a big factor on why people hate him. Yeah, um, he's also extremely arrogant in his ability. It's and that alienates um, him to the public and his lack of loyalty to Cleveland. He went back. He won them a championship. What more do you want from this the came guy? out today? So I can't be charged. All right, just to give me the sport for number two, boxing. Bo- oh, um, that's easy. Floyd Money Mayweather. Yes. Yeah, talk about arrogant. I can see that one. I feel like he's way more arrogant than LeBron is. Well, he's maybe a lesser known sport, so he has lesser known votes. Okay. Number three is golf. Golf. Uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Cheated. He's a cheater. <laughs> Number four, you're not going to know because it's NASCAR. Um, what is it called? Um, the girl. Um, no, what's her it's name? Kyle Bush. And number six is Kurt Bush. Oh. <laughs> Poor, poor Mama Bush <laughs> raised those two. You're gonna, you're gonna be so shocked at number five. What sport? Basketball. Uh, so it's gonna be a liked guy. So Steph Curry. More liked than that. More liked also, than that. R.I.P. Oh, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. 
I could see that. Actually, because you know, back when RIP, but when he was alive, it was like he was, yeah, people it says, would say um, that the past is a ball. And, it says for many NBA fans, Kobe Bryant was the reason why their team didn't win as much. What? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but also the infamous case from Colorado. Whether you believed it or not, uh, marred him. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. We already said Kurt Busch. Uh, number seven is football. Football. Mm-hmm. Huh. I don't know why. You know why? I this person. I cannot believe that he is because I thought he was Mister America. I thought he was Mister Manning. Yeah. Um. Is it because he left and went to the? the I don't ball, know. I think Broncos? it's. I don't know. And Michael Vick is number eight. Obviously, the whole dog fighting scandal. But I mean, that's we, a, we as Eagles fans, we liked him because he came to our city afterwards. He, oh yeah, I remember he he, he he did his time right. He did his time. Okay, so we'll finish with number ten, which is another um, which is another Philly person, and it is baseball. And it okay, is... don't tell me. Um, is it Bryce Harper? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was I was just we were, you had the newspaper, and I was saying I I cannot stand Bryce Harper. Um, well, apparently, either can America. He's just so arrogant. Yeah. You know why? Oh, I couldn't stand. And this is going to seem like I'm a liar, but Ben Simmons, I never liked him. Even when he was going to be the saving grace for the mm. Sixers, even before he wasn't shooting. Okay. Something about he, the way he held himself. He had this little arrogance. Started dating one of the Jenners. I'm like, I want him out. And you were not alone. I wasn't alone. Well, I was alone until he started playing. Until he proved. So you had a little bit of intuition yeah no big deal i should be a scout or the opposite of a scout i don't scout them i kick them out <laughs> the out the um, scout yeah. and the out oh uh, uh, yeah <laughs> scout hold the sc yeah scout hold the sk yeah sk. sk yeah i always would say my name i wouldn't always say this i said it once in my mind um that my name is it's Ver- if you take the ick out of Ver- veronica you put the ick in Veronica. Shut up. Yeah, it's, it's like double Veronica. Veronica. Oh, yeah, I... Um, it's National Bring Your or Take a Monkey on a, on to lunch day. And you wanted one. I do want a monkey. I think I, I think I I take a monkey over a kid. I think monkeys caused COVID. I think it's AIDS. Oh well. I actually don't. Do think, you want AIDS? I also think that's not true. Okay. Is it true? No, it is true. I'm pretty, yeah, pretty sure it is true. This is a science podcast. No, because well, <laughs> uh, I, I know that it's like, you're also not supposed to say that, but it's because people, same thing with COVID. Eight. Where it was like, oh. Food. Dirty people. They ate junk food. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I think it was like the transmission of like monkey meat. People weren't yeah. sleeping with monkeys is what I'm saying. Yeah. That I was, a, that was a misnomer. Yeah, I know, because people like to make the story more. So crazy like so how, yeah. so happy monkey day happy um it's not monkey it's not monkey day it's take a monkey to lunch day absolutely not where would that be allowed the zoo take them to lunch i think it, that sounds crazy and i would I could su- say bring a monkey lunch but how no, could you take the I'm, monkey to lunch take it's, a that's probably on, illegal take a monkey on a date day i'm, I'm telling you that's I, not probably illegal that is illegal i'm telling you where would you take him i don't even know if this is a holiday if it is i'm, I'm gonna be so happy if in my hand right here is take a monkey to lunch day because i'll feel so um what's the word what do you mean you don't know if that's a holiday i thought you looked it up you know, i know but like now that i'm saying it out loud i'm feeling like it sounds very silly yeah but if it's right here it's not that silly Okay. Maybe a stuffed animal. No, I think I think it's a monkey. If you had to take a monkey to lunch, where would you take him? <sighs> I think I would take him to like a smoothie cafe. Because I think monkeys are like notoriously vegetarian. I don't think they're good with liquid. What? I don't think they're good with liquid. No, that's why it would be like a... Like they do like... It, it would be a like, smoothie yeah. cafe. So like they would have all the fruits that go into the smoothies. I could get like a little like club sandwich or something. Oh, oh, a kid's banana- cafe. Yeah, um, like we're oh. sitting down and it's like, I get a smoothie, a banana, strawberry banana smoothie. They get strawberries and Would bananas. you take them to the Rainforest Cafe? There's, I just saw a guy on TikTok that was like going to every Rainforest Cafe in America. They exist? I think so. I, I think thought they went out of business. Nope. He, he, he can't, can't get rid of that easily. Do you, you remember it? Toys R Us. Yeah, I remember it. Mm-hmm. You see Toys R Us came back? It did? Yeah. I don't know if it's like in-person stores though. Right. But I saw the giraffe on TikTok. Do you not remember his name? Yeah, Jeffrey with a G. Geoffrey. Jeffrey Epstein. 
He came well, back. Um. So yeah. So guys, it is Thursday. Um. Yesterday, did you check out our podcast? It was a complaint podcast. Did you like my thumbnail? I did. I made it. Uh. You know, it grinds my gears. Yeah. Who knows? After Doctor Seuss Friday runs out, maybe we'll uh we'll have what grinds my gears. We do have a lot of things to have hot takes about. Yeah. Like, what were we just complaining? But about? will it depress people? No, because it'll be funny and people and they'll relate. It's not going to be like you know what I hate. Is the crippling depression that I wake up with? Right. It's gonna. It's silly. Th- what, were, what was? It, what did we start this show, show with? That I said. You know what? Yeah. So you know, like when we were, I was complaining that junk food is a derogatory yeah. term. It's not a real argument. It's not a real. Oh right. Grinding no. Gears. We're actually wanting to make like make the world better because if you just complain about something with no purpose, yeah, that is pretty depressing. Yeah. But if, if we're saying like, hey, everybody, number one, don't feel bad about eating something that someone else has referred to as junk food <laughs> but number two you don't have to call it junk like st- let's stop perpetu- yeah. per- perpetuating that yeah and let's stop spending 70 dollars at the movie theater okay all right guys it is thursday so we have a little thing called walk through thursday and that's right now so um roll the intro please welcome back hope you're having fun because walk through wednesday just begun what is going on, guys? It is walk through Thursday. You know what I realized about last Thursday? I didn't introduce it the way we always do. Really? You know, I have like a script yeah. that I stick to. Right. I said, walk through Thursday. We're picking a verse in the Bible. Let's get right into it. I didn't say anything about it. Yesterday, yes, last Thursday, um, it might have even come out on Friday. Last week was Cuckoo Week. Cuckoo Week. We had... We, ha- we didn't have the walk through Wednesday. I'm oh, sorry. We didn't have the one word Wednesday, really, because we have the tribute to Bruce, which is still up. You can watch. Then we had walk through Thursday, which I believe was late. And and we had Dr. Seuss Friday, which stayed in the metaverse until you'll get to see it tomorrow, I'm thinking. Yeah. I think so I'm going to like superimpose different dates on it. If like- anyone feels that they're crazy, let's just let them know that it's not them. That it was, it's it literally was when you juggle and the ball goes up and never comes back down. Yeah, that's funny. I was just juggling to prepare for the podcast. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I only have two balls. You could use an oh, app. I do have three. Three? Is yeah. it possible to juggle whilst sitting down? Um, I don't think yeah, anything's possible. But just the microphone might be the problem. <sighs> the bird's like getting out of there. There you go. All right. That's the three. Po- those three ball- juggle balls um, represent the three podcasts we have every single week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And see how I just fumbled the balls? You did. So you last week we, ju- we were juggling Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But we had to go to a funeral and we were like... Late the the sun was really hot around here, scrambling late our brain. Posting. And so when we threw up um, Dr. Seuss Friday, <laughs> it went up and it was it will fall tomorrow. Yeah, you know, like when you flip a pancake. Yeah. And it sticks to the ceiling. You gotta wait for it to come back down. But wait, I was thinking the heat wave. I think that's why the sap has been so bad, and why we have to wash our car every single solitary day. The sap. I think it's been melting out of the trees. I don't know if there's any science behind that. Maybe. Um, so th- I will give you the rundown. It is walk through Thursday. What we do on walk through Thursday is we open up the Bible. Bible's open, open. Once the Bible is open, we pick a verse just like our Instagram polls. Hope you still watch those. Happy winter Colossians. Happy winter. Colossians. Who would have thought? Um, people who voted for it. <laughs> and, uh, once we pick a verse, we slow it down and we talk about it. The whole Bible can be seen as a great book to have these overarching themes but each verse is powerful and so we just try to take one at a time put it on a little a little we every day we talk about silly holidays you know it's just like today's a day that we celebrate junk food well there's no junk in the bible but today's a day that we'll celebrate one bible verse fun virus and we'll fun bible verse and we'll just talk about it so fun we are going to just break it down chop it down and uh we are going to go through it sentence by sentence line, line by, by line, line. Word, word by, by word, word. Letter, letter by letter. letter. That's it by that's it. Um, so without further ado, we're reading out the book of Exodus. Exodus. I'm Bob Marley. The second book of the Bible. Mm-hmm. Exodus, meaning, meaning exit. Exit. The great exit when Moses led the slaven Jewish people out of the tyrannical slavery <laughs> all they have to do is like speed up 
their um you know the play of yeah. that and it'll sound <laughs> totally normal out of egypt so um yeah we're reading exodus 40 30 to 40 30. is the last book oh and these, it's the exit out of exodus yes it's, wow. the, it's the last um and then you go into Leviticus. So this, 40 is the very last chapter. Sweet. Exodus 40, 30 to 31. All right. We're reading two little verses here. <clears throat> he placed the basin between the tent of... I don't know why. I think I, I was like starting to read it in a um, cadence of Dr. Seuss. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to read That's Dr. Really Seuss funny. too much. He placed the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it for washing. And Moses and Aaron and his sons used it to wash their hands and feet. They washed whenever they entered the tent of meeting or approached the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. So this is Exodus. It's and um, like I said, you're at forty, and you're almost at the very. The, this isn't the last line, but you're almost there. And um, the whole time they were building the tent of meeting. Yes. Later on, um, David builds a better, better situation. Right. Per- this is this is like the mobile. Well, no, it's Solomon builds the... Solomon. Oh, right. You're right. David brings like the... the Tabernacle out of the tent of meeting. No, he brings like... Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, all right, like, am I building your temple? Yeah. That's going to hold it? And he's like, no. Right. Solomon. Solomon's temple. Okay. So this is when it's mobile. And since they're, they are fleeing, like you said, they have to keep picking it up yeah. and re remaking it where they land and then picking it up. And so there's lots and lots of um instructions... As, yeah. as early Bible has. And it's like, this is where you're going to put the pole. This is where you're going to put the canvas. This is where you're going to do the burnt offerings. Da, da, da. So um, they they were instructed, this is where you're going to put a basin of fresh water before you approach. Yeah. This will be for um, washing. And so um, that's just ending up, like I said, is ending up the book saying that, you know, Moses and... Um, Aaron and his sons before you enter um is it between the altar and the tent or even before you go in the tent um, between the tent of meeting and the altar yeah um to to wash your feet hey, what, hey uh what's my name white sail why did you pick this because it's I think I know okay good tell me is are you going to say what is the importance of this when in the new testament the Pharisees accused Jesus of not and his disciples that they weren't washing their feet. Yeah. This was what they were breaking, sort of. Right. And so, how is there this? And then, where where is where were the Pharisees wrong? Right. If this is saying this right here, my I have a confusion, and uh-huh. the confusion is is this is Old Testament, and it's important that they do this and and we could just take this and and just not disregard ever but don't think about the new testament right now and say like you know how important was this and also like what did it mean in life like how do we wash ourselves before we pray or we go and of course think of all the religions who do it very ritually yeah not like we don't as catholics but um so then i thought of what of what you're saying like right jesus kind of like loosened that law but then you also think of the Last Supper, where it becomes a, a ritual again, where he washes the feet of the apostles, and he says, "I've the only way, like, the only way to get to me is if I wash your feet, and I want you now to wash each other's feet." And it's something we still do today. We talked about the Pope still does it yearly. So, um, it was like this was super Old Testament ritual. And then Jesus, of course, said the, the way to me is love. But then there was that thing. Now, was it strictly symbolic and saying, you know, actions, you know, your feet are actions, you know, clean your actions and follow me. And this is the way to me. I think it is more of just that. Like, like, like all like, 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 like we often say. Jesus wasn't replacing laws. He was re-instructing what's the purpose of them being used and what how we're looking at the wrong thing. So I think like back then, this idea of washing the feet was meant to be out of respect and love for the other. You know, it's like you do it almost because you want to. You're instructed to do it because it's like this is where we will be speaking. And it's like you desire to do it. And that, that's so in the New Testament, 
they had turned it into such a law right. that it lost all the love. It, mm -hmm. it became just do it to do it. And so I think that's where Jesus was saying, like, we came in here with love and with this respect for God. And right. I am God. And right. why are you worried so much about the feet washing? Um, when it's not saying it's not important, it's saying you're doing it for the wrong reasons. So, yeah, so back then it was, you, you would do it, but it was because of your desire, because of man, clean feet, you know? It's like that idea of you, you walk into someone's house with your shoes on and muddy up the floors, it's a disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. And especially this tent, right? Right, Because at the time, that was the meeting place of God with the tabernacle right. and stuff. So <laughs> you're walking into your father's house mm -hmm. and, and you want to show respect and, and, and you want to be respectful and, and honor your father. Mm -hmm. But in just that way of you want to do it to honor your father and not because he'll you know beat you if you don't i agree and um i believe when you're speaking that i'm hearing you know maybe back then they were tightly combined with the ritual of doing it and then like the 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 complete mindset of yeah you know and and not just my feet but my heart and my yes. mind and my thoughts and like by the time jesus comes it had been so um, detached, yeah. You know, and so even like I talked about Muslims, Jews who do who do similar things today, it's not magical. Like if you if you wash, it's not. Uh, it's you're it's supposed to be completely entangled into um, why you're doing it and not the act of doing it. Yeah, I mean, and we we have used to talk about this a lot more than now. But I mean, like that's what Jesus got the most mad at. It wasn't like you rule followers. It was you hypocrites. Yeah. And so it was sort of that idea of like, you're doing the action, but you're not doing what the action was meant to do. Right. And you're you're attacking people for not doing the action when the action is, you're not even doing it either. You're not, mm -hmm. yeah, that idea of, it's like when you're writing notes and it's like, it helps your, your mind do it more. It's the notes aren't important. It's the information. Right. But it's like. Okay, we'll just re 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 rewrite it with your hand, not type in it. Mm -hmm. So you go through the motion. And I think it's the same idea of it is symbolic. Like, right. It's a sim like you're cleaning your feet and you're, you have that feeling of I'm walking into my father's house. Right. And like you're going through that. The, the water and the feet don't mean that much, but the symbolism and the actual, um, when the, the actual process of doing that is yeah. what gets your mindset there. Because it's like I'm, body, mind, soul. Right. The whole, the whole has to connect it. Um, because God is so great and so Facts. unfathomable. Facts. That he's he's not hurt. He's not damaged in any way. He's not, you know, hurt. You know, I said hurt, but. If, if from dirty hands or dirty feet like yeah. there's nothing like great now you ruined it yeah now that was a sterile environment you've ruined my tabernacle like <laughs> so it is for us so 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 therefore how do you feel how important is it to you like do you do you feel it's important at all because you know now that god's not you didn't ruin the, the sterile environment and you know the most important thing is love and your love for god how do you continue to feel about washing your hands before you pick up a bible or or whatever, what they're doing. I think it's important for, like, like, I think it's important for the, how do I feel about someone saying, um, you know, in, in a green room before singing, saying, how now, brown cow, how now, brown cow. It's like, everyone has a different way. But if, like, none of these things should be put um, down. Like, oh, you know, there's no reason to wash your hands before a Bible. But whatever your process is to align yourself and and give the respect you need to get you to have that closer um you know relationship because mm -hmm. it, it's like it's also the, like part of a routine of like if you do the same thing every time before you you read the bible or or pray it's it gets your mind in it you clear yeah. out of all other thoughts right and this isn't this isn't even just purely spiritual there's a lot of just you know like mental techniques of meditation and right. real world use of this idea of, of doing some sort of um ritual yeah you see it in sports yeah when they powder the 
Pool cue. No, well, that's the word. <laughs> it's not powder, and it's chalk, and that's for friction. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying like ritualistic things in sports. Oh, of, like, yeah. Like kiss ev- the, kiss the kiss crucifix or something. Every day you do things, and it's like, it's not just an OCD thing. It's, okay. You're getting your mind back in that place. Muscle memory. You're taking yeah. yourself to the place you're going, where you're this is what we're back. doing now. Yeah. Okay. It's like, now I'm here. And so with this, it's, I am cleansing myself. Like every day before answered. the podcast, I kiss Frank. You got answered. Wait, what? So she can say that again. <laughs> every day before, like, like how every day before the podcast, I kiss Frank. That's not allowed. He, <laughs> he doesn't have arms. <laughs> not that not arm people can't kiss people. No, but, but he can't push me away. And, and, and he, he can't speak. He can't do anything. He's not content. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> well, that is our podcast. Um, Go out and wash your feet. Because if anything else, they stink. Shouldn't you stay in and wash your feet? I don't know. Actually, yeah. Just wash your feet more. People don't wash their feet enough. You don't know that. (laughs) We'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. Maybe. (laughs) Definitely. Maybe maybe they'll see the one from... You might see the one from last week. Okay, bye. Peace.